Okay, now for starters, we're gonna have to go to your control panel, and from there we're going to hardware and sound, and we're gonna open up device manager. Now, we're gonna scroll through here to lib30 or libusb win32 devices. See pump it up IO. Right click, uninstall. Check that box so that it deletes the software and it doesn't uh, try to reinstall it again. Otherwise, you'll, you're not going to get very far. Now, once that's uninstalled, go to Action, Scan for Hardware Changes. Wait for it. Now you'll notice that you no longer have the drivers for the Easy USB FX2. So, we're going to go to the new IO to key build. We're going to go to the IO to key folder. Just going to delete everything that was in there. And. Oh, what happened? Why can't I go back? Oh, there we go. Okay, we're going to paste it all in there. Now. Here comes the fun part. We're going to go back into Device Manager, right-click, Update Driver Software. Browse my computer for the driver software, and assuming that you have it in the same folder where um, you installed I.O. to key the first time, you're just going to press uh, Next, but otherwise, you'll go to Browse, and then you're going to navigate to where you have the new version of I.O. to key stored. So it's going to be there, and we hit Next. Install the software anyway, because it's it doesn't matter. It's safe. I mean, this is going to be in an arcade cabinet. It's not going to be connected to the internet where people can get pictures of your dick. So, just install it, and there you go. Now it says the driver software, uh, software is labeled as PIUIO. So, let's go ahead and give it a test. Just going to log off real quick. Now, I'm logging off because I have my own little loader as you can see which some of you might have this it's very unlikely I will probably release it in the future I'm just too lazy to but the big thing that matters is you have lights now and you can just do whatever the fuck you want so let's go ahead and play some step F2 Whatever the fuck that was. God, creepy things you don't want to hear in a basement. Now, I gotta give a big shout out to CK Durr for getting this project running along. It's really come through with the community on a whole lot of projects over the last year, and really, none of this would be possible without him, so... Now then, let's go ahead and give this a test. Pow. It's so beautiful! Gonna be some fun stuff going out in the future. Custom music. But I prefer the classics. Yeah, this looks like a good spot. Probably gonna do terrible because it's it's displaying at about 25 frames a second right now through a capture card since it's recording, but whatever.
Terrible. Suck at that part. 